Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gulp and Nosh, episode 25. I am Alex. I'm Emmy. I bet you didn't know she was there. Hi. You just thought there was some faceless thing in the chair next to me, but First that's time Emmy. First time wearing this sweatshirt. I gotta stop show. looking at the at the mirror that gives uh -huh. that shows me the screen. I gotta start, start looking at the camera. Because I noticed that when I edit is that I'm always looking beyond, like past, yeah, I am too. past the camera. Uh, but it, it prevents us from not realizing that the camera shut off and messing up half of our recording. So that's good. So, First time you know, wearing this hoodie on the show. She's really obsessed with hoodies for some reason. Just because I wear a hoodie does not mean I'm obsessed. Today, we are drinking new grape. Now, New Grape new was grape. invented in 1906 by John James Mangum and a fellow, fellow pharmacist. But to me, the NU is a more it's current new. trend. Like new. new metal and whatever. It's also another way of saying no. New. NU? Is it just like a meme way of saying no, no like or is it... No, when you text, if you say N-U, it's um, saying no, like, no. You could just say N-O. There's no shortness to that. They're, they're pretty much the same Nye. space away from the end. Why not just say no? <laughs> Why do you guys in your generation have to change every word possible? Why, why do people say please? Because they want to be little babies. That's true. <laughs> nee, it's not as bad though. It's it's weird, pointless. <laughs> it's like yes. 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 It's not yes. It's yas. Sorry, I, I butchered <laughs> the pronunciation of a word that doesn't exist. <clears throat> anyway. Um, kind of a boring history for New Grape. Uh, they just sort of basically jumped around. Uh, mm -hmm. Different different people owned them for different periods of time, and that's that's about it. Um, after the invention by John James Mangum. It's kind of funny that Mangum. pharmacists used to be the ones to invent soda pop. Mangum. Isn't that and, funny? Yeah, now... Now, now you think of a pharmacist as... as um, Cutting the drugs that, you know, d cure serious things, real ailments. Like Back in the day, they were just mixing sugar and, and bubbly and carbonation and flavoring together and being like, Oh yeah, there's an elixir that'll help cure your ailments. It also tastes like grape soda. It doesn't do anything for your ailments, but... You know, they call them um, snake, snake oil salesmen or whatever. That's what That was a term. They'll be like somebody that basically makes something up and shysters you out of your money. That's weird. Why are they snake oil? I don't know. Maybe Do they sell bottles of snake oil. Yeah, maybe it's like based off of some, maybe it's like based off of a movie with somebody like sold snake oil and said it cured the cold or something i don't know cured cancer i don't know i don't know why they call it that it's based on something anyway it's just funny to me that pharmacists used to make soda pop and now soda pop is the worst thing for you the enemy uh, of pharmacists yeah and pharmacists are making genuine drugs after being invented in 1906, it was bottled in 1921, and then in 1933, all right, in 1933, uh, they founded their own company, the Not National nice. New Grape Company. In 1938, they added Suncrest. In 1965, they added Kickapoo, which we drank last year. Then they ran with those three brands for a while. Well, what not for mean? Kickapoo. Wait. National New Grape Company that, created Kickapoo as well as New Grape. But you said we drank Kickapoo last year. Oh, did I say last year? I meant last 
uh, episode. Week. Last week. Yeah, you said last year. <clears throat> we did not drink it last year. No. So, they ran I with those three brands theirs. for a little while. Until 1968, the Moxie Company bought all of them. Uh, they all merged to mix the Moxie Monarch New Grape Company, which was later just the Monarch Beverage Company. And then, in 1999, Big Red Limited bought New Grape from Monarch. So, kind of separated New Grape from Kickapoo and Suncrest. You have... It's like... Adopting a child, but only it's like triplets and not only adopting one of them. Yeah, basically. You know, in like every episode, I have to Ow. try to edit around you loudly asking if we can drink while I'm doing the history. And when we talked about doing this show, you might remember I said, Well, we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do a history of the drink too. Otherwise, we're just like every other channel that just drinks it and gives their opinion. I like to provide a little bit of a history behind it. I so love that blowing was, the fog on the That was our island. agreement. Yes. So maybe stop rushing the history. We will get to the drinking. Don't poke my eyeball. Was that your eyeball? Yes. I was trying to stick my finger up your nose. Alright. I'll bite you. Cheers. Cheers to anyone drinking along at home. To me, a grape soda is an iconic thing. Oh, no. It's making my To me, a grape soda is something that is iconic to, I don't know, just America or what but i like i like it with barbecue chicken pizza and just like a really sugary grape soda is the perfect combination to me but i think any pizza any terrible for you pizza any like grease ball pizza that's dripping oil all over and a really sugary grape soda is the the epitome of Americana to me a new grape nails it I don't, I don't know what that was knocks it out of the park new grape is the 100% are you gonna hide the rest of the episode or are you gonna give the opinion it or, makes or... my stomach hurt okay you want to talk or you no. want to just like disappear and make me do the rest of the episode by myself does that answer your question? Yeah, I'm going to get so many comments that there's like, you just dominate the episode, never let her talk. I don't want to talk. But you need to contribute. Antisocialism. You can't be antisocial and want to be on, on YouTube. You said you wanted to start this series too. I don't want to talk with my stomach hurt. This episode is going to be called Whiner Butt. <coughs> and it's going to be in regards to her being a giant whiner butt. I'll bite your finger. My, my tummy hurts. I do not say tummy. My tummy hurts. <coughs> I bit him. My tummy hurts. I'm just going to curl up and not talk the rest of the episode. New grape is the quintessential grape soda. And she was sort of annoyed that I had had it before, but I felt like we needed to do it, whether or not I drank it before. And I'm sweating from that light. How are you sweating from a light? Because that light is so hot. It's bright. You can't feel the heat from here. I felt like we needed to do new grape because it is quintessential grape soda. If you can find a more classic epitome of grape soda in this world than 
leave it in the comments, and I will try it. Ooh, I know. Death. Death? Grape-flavored grape death. Grape-flavored? What is... What are you saying? <laughs> Those words don't go together. I don't understand. Grape-flavored death? What is that? Never mind. He's staring me at do you, do you understand what she's talking about? Because... <laughs> I don't understand what she's talking about. I know how the face mask. I want to thank. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> uh, Legionnaire from last week's episode for leaving a comment. You're awesome. I don't know who you are, but cool. It's gl I'm glad that you like Pup as well. And I'm um, glad I get to come to more mosh pits. I will, I will, uh, so many as a thank you, leave you some videos of me and Emmy at the Pup Show right now. me and Emmy at the pup show. Um, next week, what do you want to do? A agave? You want to do that sure. agave? Sounds, sounds like... Agave is the brand I want to say. Sounds like what? Sounds like um, avocado soda. Yeah, it's not avocado. That's what um, it sounds like to me. We, that's the brand, but I believe we settled with uh, the passion fruit flavor... Maybe some flavor of agave is what we went with. And that's what we're going to drink next week. So if you want to drink along, go find some. Spad. Emerson? Sure. You kicked me. Emerson, I did not get the chair. Crap. And ducks. New grape into the soda hall of fame. Don't fall through that chair. I need to move it further down. Oh, I yeah, I don't know why Grammy must have put those chair cheer wine bottles up there. Do you want me to take yeah, them down? Yeah, take them down. No, we don't put empty bottles into the hall of fame. We save the empty bottles elsewhere for potential projects. Got him. Um. If you want to send us any snacks or obscure sodas or Perfect. anything like that, there is B.O. Box address in the D-Box. Hit up the D-Box. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Smacking him with old uh, And that's about it. Uh, give us a like and all that jazz. Give us a like. That's a like. Like. And this is a dislike. Don't push this button. No. Push that button. Not, ow, ow. Not this button. This is a, this is, um, a like on Reddit. Like on YouTube and like on Reddit. Sure. Like on both. If I put it on Reddit. I don't like to put every episode on Reddit because. If you put it on Reddit. I feel like at some point. You spit on my toe. To, did you really need to call that out? <laughs> I feel like at some point Reddit's going to ban me or something for spamming r slash videos. If you guys want to put our videos on Reddit or on, I, I don't know, Whatever Pinterest or um, dig.com, dig stumble upon... I, do any of those sites still exist? Pinterest. I'm looking at the wrong thing again. Pinterest I don't know. Pinterest still exists. Uh, I'm on Pinterest. I don't know. Um, 
I don't know how to promote us as well as I probably should. I tried to pay like like five five ten bucks or something to promote one of our pins on Pinterest, and I got an email back saying that our content violated their terms because it was either vulgar, sickening, uh, uh, or offensive. Uh, uh, I mean, I know my face is ugly, but I didn't, I didn't think it was sickening. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think it was me. It might have been you. It might have been all the burping you do. That's pretty vulgar. <laughs> and sickening. Okay, I might be raising a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye, people. <laughs> Ow! You punched my boob. <laughs>